So I've been all over the place in Dallas looking for a really good Cuban place. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm from Miami, so I, I know my Cuban sandwiches, I'll be honest with y'all. So I've checked out different restaurants, and this one I've landed on one of the best Cuban places in DFW, hands down, one of the best Cuban sandwiches I've ever had. And let me tell you what really makes this super special. It's the bread, the Cuban bread, because they bake it every day here. And there's a lot of places will say, oh, we have Cuban sandwiches, but when you get there, it's a French bread. It's not a Cuban bread. And so this makes a huge difference in the type of sandwich it is. And another thing I have to say that, um, being from Miami, I've had all my, my Cuban sandwiches, right? Um, one thing I've always noticed is that the, the pork inside is normally like super dry. You feel like you have to kind of like drink with it or you have to have a little extra mustard or whatever, right? Over here, they make their own, like they, they actually pull pork and it's so juicy. So you never feel like your sandwich is super dry. Now, like I've been to Versailles so many times and every time I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta drink some water because it's so dry, right? But this is, it's different. You don't have to do that. It's so flavorful and it's so delicious. And hands out, I'm telling you, I've been here for three years now and I've gone all around the place. And this is by far one of the best Cuban sandwiches ever in DFW. Okay, so today we're gonna be trying um, Baba rellena, which is basically like a kind of like a potato that has meat in it and it's like deep fried ish. Um, and then we're gonna have a pastelito, which is the guayaba and queso. It's guava and cheese, and it's basically like an apple turnover, except it has guava in it instead of apple. So it's a it's a puff pastry technically. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try la papa rellena, which is this. I've never had this. I'm really excited for it. Um, I've had this in Miami, but I've never had it here. So. I guess what makes this special is just how, how nice and crispy it is on the outside and it's nice and it's perfect. Look at this. It's got the raisins in the, in the picadillo. Picadillo is basically just like, um, like beef that's been uh, like grounded and, and mixed with um, tomato paste and, and seasonings and stuff like that. And one of the things I always loved is, is having a little bit of that uh, sweetness to it, which is the raisin. And my mom used to always put raisin in her empanadas and her picadillo as well. So I'm really excited for this. This looks so freaking good. Oh, wow. Okay. That is absolutely amazingly seasoned, to be honest. That's exactly how a picadillo should, should taste like. It's, it's just perfect. I love that. There's so much season. There's so much flavor to this. Flavor and um, it's just perfectly made. And they make this every day. The next thing I got is a pastelito. This, I grew up in my high school. You could buy these for 50 cents in the hallway. I kid you not, Miami Beach Senior High, that's where I'm from. <laughs> so you always, you would hear all the coaches be like, Litos, Litos, come get your Litos. Look at that. Look at that guava y queso. Oh my goodness. It's delicious. Oh my, it's so flaky too. That's exactly how it is. You never, if you eat a pastelito, it's always gonna be one of those things that like, you're gonna make a mess on yourself, no matter how well you try to um, eat or like contain it, you know? Mm. Wow. Seriously, after finding this place, I'm like, oh, something hits home for once, you know? They made me a little cortadito. <laughs> a little cortadito, I haven't had one of these in a while. That Cuban coffee that's like really strong. You know, Cuban coffee is like super bitter, so you need a lot of sugar in it. But this is like, this will keep you awake for three days. <laughs> three days, I promise you. Mm. So good, you guys, I definitely, if you want authentic Cuban, come over here because this place is delicious. It's honestly, hands down, one of my favorite places in DFW. Especially if, you're, if you moved from Florida, you're not gonna get a lot of places like this. Come check them out, trust me, hands down. And it's family owned. It's been here for a couple of generations. Small shop and with amazing food, amazing prices too. And it's a great little breakfast. You get yourself a cortadito, get yourself a tostada. And watch, that's all you need. <laughs>